guys, good morning. Um, we are going to be tackling something a little bit different today, but you definitely have tried it within the past two weeks. We were working on using place value strategies to solve subtraction equations. So your assignment again is gonna look like 83 minus 68, something like that, where you have a double digit problem or a triple digit problem. Um, we'll try both today, but your numbers will be lined up horizontally, side to side. However, your goal today is to work on making sure to show your vertical form and your place value chart. A lot of times last week we were showing just one or the other, or we were doing it all in our head. We really, really want to see that you can try some of these strategies because when you get to third grade, your numbers are going to get bigger and more complicated. So we really need to be showing like, hey, I know how to do this. I have multiple strategies. I'm a strong mathematician. How you show that is by sharing your thinking through strategies. So master these two this week. See if you can do it. Um, vertical form means up, whoop, there goes my marker, up and down. So we are going to stack the numbers. So say we got like 83 on top. We need to make sure that this number is on top because when we have subtraction, we start with the whole or our biggest number. And then we take away the part that we need to take out. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and say, okay, I'm building my place value chart, my hundreds place, my tens place, and my ones place. Okay, so now I look over here and I say, I have to build my whole into my chart and cross out the part that I need to take away. So let's see, um, let me build 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. Let's double check. Five, six, seven, eight, eight tens. One, two, three, three ones. I did it. Okay, now I might be ready to subtract, but first I check, do I have enough on top to take away what's on the bottom? I always check that first, because otherwise I can't subtract yet. I might have to rename my problem, okay? So I have three, three ones, three, and I have to take away eight. If I have three pieces of candy, can I give eight to you? I cannot, I only have three, sorry. That's just not possible yet. So where do I go? Well, if I don't have enough for the ones place, the only other place in my number is my tens. So I need to go in there and say, okay, I have a 10, but inside of that number 10, there are 10 ones. So I'm going to unbundle or regroup my 10 and show that that's the same as 10 ones. Remember when we were in class, we had bundles of popsicle sticks and inside that rubber band, there were 10 popsicle sticks. We called that a group of 10, but we could always unbundle or take that apart and that would make 10 separate popsicle sticks. It's still the same number. Let me prove to you that it's still the same number. This should still be 83. It's just that we moved around some of the ones and put them back in our ones place by taking apart our 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I'm recounting to make sure it still makes 83. That was 70. That's not there anymore, it's over here. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. So this is still 83. I just renamed it or moved it around because numbers are flexible, okay? So now I needed some more ones and I got them from the only place I could. So the little rhyme for this when I'm solving with my vertical form is more on top, no need to stop. So, if this problem had a higher number than eight on top, I wouldn't have to stop, but I do have to stop. I cannot solve it like this. I also cannot flip my numbers around. That's a mistake a lot of people make. Be careful, don't let yourself be one of them. If you flip the numbers around and you put the eight up here, you're doing 88 minus 63, not 83 minus 68. That's a whole different problem with completely different numbers. So in subtraction, we don't flip them around. So if I say three minus eight, I can't do it. I go next door, get 10 more. So I, if I take one 10 from eight tens, I only have 
seven left because eight minus one is seven. Where do I put that 10? I saw some of us struggling to put it here last week, so let's just go ahead and look at this. I had three ones, and I just took a 10 from my tens place. When I unbundled it, it makes 10 ones. 10 ones and three ones makes 13 ones. That's what's over here. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, now I do 13 minus eight, and I say, oh, eight, what, what, eight plus what makes 13? Eight minus 10, 11, 12, 13, five, should be five. Let's go ahead and see if that's true. 13 minus eight. Cross out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's left? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I did it right. So now I come over here and I say seven tens minus six tens. Well, I know the difference between seven and six is just one. So one ten. Let's check that out in here and make sure I'm correct. Seven and I cross out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure enough, I'm just left with one ten. Okay, so now I see that my answer in my place value chart and my answer in my vertical form match. That's a good sign, and that's why it's good to do more than one strategy because then I can be sure. Okay, let's see you do that. Now we're going to get a little more challenging. If you feel like that was pretty challenging already and you want to go try just your double digits, please go do that right now. If you feel like, nah, Mrs. Jarrington, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna get those triple digit numbers. This is a little bit too simple. That's okay too. Let's try that. So our triple digit numbers are a bit bigger here. We're gonna go with mm, math, sorry. Mm -hmm. Seven under 12, okay. And we're gonna subtract Actually, let's go with 710, and we're going to subtract um, 289. Okay, already I'm looking, and uh-oh, I have a problem. I More on top, I wouldn't need to stop, but there's more on the floor, which means there's more on the bottom. That number is more than that number. I have to go next door and get 10 more. I also know this because if I build this number, watch. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. 4, 5, 6, 7, 700. 710. And then I have nothing in my ones. How in the world am I supposed to take away nine? I don't have anything there, nothing at all. So I have to go next door and get 10 more. So if I take 110 away from that, I have nothing left there but I put the 10 over here into my one space so that I have one 10 there. What this looks like in my chart is I go, okay, I don't have enough. Let me unbundle or break apart one of my 10s to make 10 ones. In class when we showed that, we would go, let me unbundle it because if I have a 10, my hands are together representing the 10, I break it apart and I have 10 ones inside of it, okay? Now I have enough to cross out nine ones. Awesome, but I have to check that I have enough in every place and completely rename it until I'm ready to subtract. I'm not ready yet. More on top, then I wouldn't need to stop, but there isn't more on top, there's more on the floor. So I go next door and get 10 more. So I'm gonna take this seven in the hundreds place and say if I take one of those hundreds out, I have six left. I'm gonna put that 100 in my tens place. If I unbundle 100, I have 10, another 10, another 10, another 10, I have 10 tens, all of these tens, okay? And make 100. So it looks like this. We're gonna put that, those 10, um, 10 tens over here in my tens place. So it looks like this. I have 100, I unbundle it to make 10 tens. Okay, now let's check it out. I have 10 ones, that's enough. There's more on top, I don't need to stop anymore. I have 10 tens. There's more tens on top, I don't need to stop. There's more hundreds on top, I don't need to stop. I can do this problem now. But over here, what you should see is that you still have 710, you just put it in different places because 600s plus 10 tens 
the same as, let's see, 600, 610, 620, 630, 640, 650, 660, 670, 680, 690, 700. And then there's 10 over here. That still makes 710. So now let's cross them out. Let's do it. 10 minus 9. Oh, the difference between 10 and 9 is just 1. Let's make sure. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we have 1 left. Yes, they match. Okay, the difference between 10 and 8. I know it takes 2 more to get to 10 from 8. So my other part is 2. 10 minus 8 is just 2. Let's make sure. 5, 6, 7, 8. Took away 8. I was left with two tens. Yes, so far they match. Then I go 6 minus 2. Well, 2 and 4 more make 6. So let's see. Let's cross out 2 of my hundreds. 1, that one doesn't count. That one was already unbundled. 1, 2. There's four hundreds left. Yes, my two match, and I can even make sure by adding back to check. Nine plus one makes ten ones. Eight tens plus two tens makes ten tens. Yes, four plus two does make six. So four hundred plus two hundred is six hundred. That's how I'm positive that I got the right answer. Okay, oh, the whole time I had this up here. Oops. So that wasn't the problem we were solving. We were solving. 710 minus 289, and we found that it made 421. Let me connect that. So excited to see how you do today. Please show all your brain power. We want to see all the awesome strategies you can do.